Welcome back to Pathologic Classic HD. We've just spoken with the Superovs, and they've given us the mission, or, well, specifically Alexander has given us the mission of talking to Bad Grief. Because Superov basically wants to kill Bad Grief, it seems like. It seems like he wants to take him out because he thinks he's the source of all the, all the, the thieves and robbers and people with knives going around at night. But we have good reason to suspect that Bad Grief is actually not the one responsible. So we've got that mission. And I also still need to talk to Anna about testing the drugs. I've spoken with Yulia and Lara already, but I have not talked with Anna. So let's go speak with Anna right now, and then probably visit the Ogimskis. Since I need to talk to them about the hospital, since I got the letter talking about the hospital they set up for me. And then I'll go to Bad Grief. But in fact, before going to Lara, or Lara, I want to see what's up with this. What does this black part on the map mean? These are obviously infected zones, and this was an infected zone, but now that it's black, what does that mean? Ooh. This color is crazy. Is it still infected? Is everybody just dead? It's eerie, but I think the plague died down here, along with everybody, I guess. There's still guards posted, though. That's the weird thing. Let's go into a house. Whoa, what's that sound? Oh, oh, oh! The hell was that? Is that a fucking ninja? I don't know who the hell that is, or what that is. That, it doesn't look like just a normal person in their house. It looks like a freaking assassin. I'm in every house. Who, who are these people? Oh. Weird. Really, really weird. What if the guards have anything to say about it? The infected areas are strictly off limits. I haven't granted emergency powers, blah blah blah. Are they all gonna say the same thing? <laughs> yeah. Okay, so apparently once this color on the map appears, that means the infection has disappeared, but the place is still weird, makes your view yellow, and ninjas are in all of the homes. Apparently that is the legacy of the Sand Plague. It leaves behind ninjas. Totally makes sense. Now let's go to Anna. Oh shit! Oh fucking hell! I didn't realize I just wandered into an infected zone! Oh god. Well. That was a bad move. Jesus. I'm just gonna go through the infected zone to get there, it's much quicker. have to really test those antibiotics soon. I don't want to undress. What if there's something scary on my skin? 
Anna, tell me, what's the deal with this drug testing of yours? We were made to test some strange pills. Yulia, for example, is supposed to enter an infected house, get sick there, and die. How's that for a test, huh? Made to? Vlad told me you volunteered. Yes, made to. It was all fixed by the old Gimskis. Vlad is secretly plotting to ruin me and Yulia. He's fond of Lara, though. So she's got something silly and non-threatening. Morphine, I believe. It doesn't even require testing. Morphine doesn't have anything to do with the infection. Hmm. That would explain why she got something that didn't even need to be tested, because yeah, she just got... She just got painkillers. I still don't understand what you three have to do with this. Why can't Vlad see to the volunteers himself? That's precisely the madness part. Vlad made the Death Seekers promise that if they do get sick, they'll let us know through the morticians. You know, the fellows who have been walking around in theater costumes. If it, uh... If all goes well, they'll inform their contact. And, for some reason, that's me. What do I have to do with it? Wait a minute. The morticians are the people walking around in theater costumes. Those are the morticians. Huh. And she's their contact. What kind of drug did you receive? I've been given three different drugs. They all ruin your health, but each does that in its own spectacular manner. Give them to me. I'll do the testing. This is the house the executors are planning to test the drugs in. They are already waiting for test subjects willing to risk their lives. Oh boy. Sounds fun. I'm gonna be their test subject now, right? More drugs. Are these immune boosting things? Yes. And this is all a side quest, right? Yeah, it's all a side quest. Oh wait, now I've got I've got two quests, it looks like. Oh yeah, the governors failed to stop the spree of outlaws that rampage the town. Alexander is certain that Bad Grief, the head of the warehouse smugglers, is responsible for organizing their movements. So that's the other one. The drug testing thing and the Bad Grief thing. I have this flush. My cheeks are burning, aren't they? I don't want to undress. What if there's something scary on my skin? Let's see her description here. Or descriptions. Peter Stamaton's take on her. The poor thing has lost her voice. I sympathize with her because she keeps her chin up, and I hate whiners. I'm thoroughly convinced that she's paying the price for someone else's sin. A hunting visitor eager to rip out her soul is coming after her any day now. At least that's what she thinks. A lesser person wouldn't have managed to endure such torture. Yulia's take. Anna affects to be suffering, but her hypocrisy is all too easy to see through. If she was genuinely wanted, for her involvement with the February riots, or that caravan of kidnappers. She would have been found years ago. She is able to trick her destiny for now, but her luck will run dry soon enough. The Ace of Diamonds caravan has left a ghastly imprint on her, the way it did with everything it was linked to. Yet the nature of the link between the caravan and Anna remains a mystery. I don't even know what these caravans are. February Riots, the Ace of Diamonds Caravan, what? What is that stuff? What a useless room. Okay, um, let's go to the old Gimskis. Let's go talk to Big Vlad. Or Vlad the Heavy, as he signed off in his latest note to me f with. For some reason he signed it, Vlad the Heavy. Let's not go through the infected district. 
Well, actually, wait, do I have a choice? Not really if I want to get there efficiently. If I go this way, I'm also going to go into the infected district. But this way, I actually only go into the infected district a little bit, whereas here I have to go all the way deep in. This, I just have to go around the edge. And I need food. So I'm going to stop for some food here. I also need to find youths to trade with. I think prices might be going up, maybe? I'm not sure. Okay, uh, oh, I've got a decent amount of money. I've also got a bunch of knives I can sell. Yeah, let's get some vegetables. Dried meat. As it says, it's still the meat of a step animal, so potentially dangerous. But, I'll take it. Where are all the children? They should be out by now, right? Yeah, it's 11.30 in the morning. Maybe they're just not around this region. Oh, there's a child. Not gonna go out of my way to talk to her, though. Oh. Whoa, 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 whoa. Holy shit. Thing's trying to track me down. wander this way, kid. What's with the disgusted expression? Yuck! The river water stinks. I wonder why. What do you mean, stinks? Stinks with what? Who do you think I am? A professional stinker? I don't know. The stench is awful, and tons of dead fish get washed ashore. Their bellies are all soft, white, and bloated. Yuck. I wonder if the water's been poisoned. Can be. Can be. Yeah, the water's just... bad. Gotta rely on what's stored. Ooh! So the children have new barter goods. Well, there's no reason to take that, because I've got plenty of drugs. One revolver round. I've got so many things to trade. Look at all this. Aw, the hook is worth the same as the... as the needle. I thought it'd be worth more. It seemed fancy. Beta tablets. Beta tablets for a hazelnut? I've got plenty of drugs, but you know what? Sure. Gladly take some more of that. You okay? Hmm. 
Alright, now to talk about the hospital that he set up for me. I can't breathe. Not enough air. Greetings, honorable doctor. Our job is almost done. Are you satisfied? It depends on how well you've done it. We did well, though it was a challenging task. The so-called Waste House has proved to be an ideal location, so we've cleared it up to refashion it into a morgue. As for the isola isolation ward, it will be founded at the Ravels. What? As far as I know, Lara Ravel was planning to turn her house into a small shelter for a few dozen people, tops, and nothing more. She agreed to undertake urgent steps. You know how fast the disease spreads better than anyone. Too many people are striving for a safe haven. Hmm. Was it her own decision? We've managed to find an understanding. Every person has their own sore spot. When you make an effort to nudge that spot a bit, well, they immediately become compliant. In other words, you've bullied her into this, right? These scurvy words would cost a life to anyone but you, esteemed doctor. My people and even my family members went around the whole town, falling down from exhaustion. Some of them got sick and are now dying. He looks really, really angry. You should have started with the public places. We didn't have much of a choice, esteemed bachelor. If you find the results of our endeavors lackluster, then feel free to take our seat and aim for the better. I've no desire to listen to these reprimands instead of the well-deserved words of praise. Alright. Any objections from the current inhabitants of the hospital to be? Of course not. We wouldn't be so harsh as to drive people out of their homes, even in case of an emergency. Don't worry, Doctor. There isn't a single soul living in this house. Obviously, it's not one of the houses that were infected yesterday, is it? Well, actually, it is. Nevertheless, we've made a most peculiar observation. There isn't a single trace of infection in these houses today. We've learned it by chance, thanks to marauders. They stock these places with no antibiotics whatsoever. Victor Kane would like to discuss this matter with you. Is, this the, is that the ninjas I found in the homes? Is that the marauders? I will examine the houses you have arranged for, if they meet minimal sanitary requirements, and go ahead and start directing the sick there. Later, I'll come back here to inform you when it's time to announce the hospital's situation to the general public. Laura has provided Olgimsky with a place for a public isolation ward, her own house. I need to inspect the building. I think I've really pissed off Olgimsky. I've been very hard on him. But the reason I'm being hard on him is because, well, he deserves it and I don't trust him. My, Isidora's death was so untimely. He would have known what to do. That was a man like no other. See what people think of him. <laughs> These are thoughts from the other two ruling people. So I'm sure they're not going to think kindly of him. Alexander's thoughts. Vlad is a cunning and unfriendly man. Dealing with him is tough. I find it odd that he runs the kin so smoothly. Civilized people can't usually find a common tongue with our steppe people. You have to turn into a beast regularly in order to communicate with them. I think they've stricken some sort of secret pact. This peace has to have a hefty price. Victor's take. The town prospers thanks to his acumen. He watches over the arteries and has a firm hold over the economy. The abattoir, the factories, the warehouses, the trading processes themselves themselves are com thems I think I should beat themselves. The trading processes themselves are completely under his control. Subarov and I have long abandoned our attempts to interfere with his domain. We don't have the slightest idea of the bull project day-to-day -day life. 
I wouldn't be surprised to find out one day that Vlad had installed slavery there. <laughs> Neither would I. Okay, Talera's place, or... Now, we're closer to the place where the executors are planning to test the drugs, so let's go there. I don't have any new notes, do I? Nope. So I've already visited Olgimsky. I still need to go to the Canes. Um... Yeah, so that's talking with Olgimsky is giving me a main quest for today. But it seems like today has a lot more side quests than main quests. But we'll see what the canes have in store for me. I think I've already got two lockpicks, don't I? Yeah, I don't need another one. I would like a bandage. I've got so much water. Ah, <sighs> nothing. Hello? Are you one of the death-seeking test subjects? Here to try the pharmaceutical drugs. I have decided to play the part of one. You should know who I am, Executor. You have my utmost respect. We are closely following your gallant exploits at all times. How do you intend to test the drugs? The procedure is simple. I let you in and wait for an hour. The time is known to be enough to... <clears throat> be certain. You have the pills. Yes. Immunity boosters or antibiotics? Both. Take the boosters first. Just be careful. They're deadly in large doses. Sooner or later, you'll start feeling dizzy. Those are the first symptoms of the disease. Eventually, the fever will become unbearable. That means the disease is entering its critical phase. I know. The latent stage is not life-threatening, but in such an environment, where one will breathe the disease and absorb it through his pores constantly. The infection will progress rapidly. Take the antibiotics then. They will kill off the bacteria when it propagates too much. Are you trying to lecture me on microbiology? No, no, no need for that. I'm simply summarizing what we've managed to learn after the first outbreak. And in the last few days. I hope luck is on your side. Luck has nothing to do with this. I'm actually going to do this. I'm scared. I need to take as many immunity stimulants as I can handle. Having done that, I will be able to survive in an infected house for at least an hour. Provided I have enough antibiotics, of course. This better be fucking worth it. Hold on. God, I, I need to make a permasave here because this might really screw me over. How's my health? Good. Although it's about to be really bad once I take all these immunity boosters. Step one, immunity boosters. Can be dangerous. Negligible harm. Uh, which one's the most powerful? I feel like this is the most powerful. Take this. Oh wow, that almost maxed out my immunity. Okay. And then which one of these is, am I going to want to take? This is the least harmful, right? This is medium harmful. This is super harmful. Okay. Do I actually have to survive for an hour? I guess so. Oh god. Mmm. <laughs> Get away from me! You fuck. What time is it? 28. It's 1228, so if I can survive till 1328, I'm good. God, the fucking disease chases you! It chases you! It's. It. Freaking sentient!
I'm gonna see if I can do some pro dodges here. Let it come out the door, and then... Oh! I did it! Well, here's screaming. Let's look around, see if I can loot something, see if I can find the person who's screaming. Might as well make good use of my time here. Gonna make it till 1328. 1328. Oh, here it comes again. Oh, it looks like it dies before it gets to me, so I think I'm safe up here. Oh. Okay. It's coming to me. Fuck off, fuck off, fuck off. Oh, <laughs> this is really stressful. There's gotta be something to loot in here at least. No. Come on, come on, I gotta dodge. Whew. Let's go back upstairs. Where are the stairs? I don't remember where the stairs are. Anything to loot in that thing? Loot? <gasps> yes! I actually found something. Uh, I'm like halfway through. This, this house is so freaking big. Ooh! It's upstairs. Oh! There's where the screaming is coming from. Uh, yeah, so I can ease her pain. Uh, I don't really want to spare the drugs right now, though, and honestly, my reputation's fine with the town, so I don't think I need to. I had to be so much of a pragmatist when it comes to somebody suffering. Fuck. Oh, more good stuff. Some good stuff in here. Some good stuff. How's my immunity now? Let's take some more pills. Oh fuck. Oh fuck. Alright, come over. Come over here. Come over here. Yes! Dodged it. Only a little bit more. Gotta make it to 1328 and I'm at 1310. Upstairs, upstairs, upstairs. Almost. Twelve more minutes. I'm gonna wait at the front door. 1328, 1328, 1328. Oh shit, oh shit. Go away, go away, go away! Go away! Come on, I know you can't last too long. Okay, there we go. Oh, wait. Is that another one? Alright, come over here. Whew, okay. And... Wait, what? Is it fucking locked? An hour has passed, I can leave. Is this not the front door? Where's the front door? Oh, that's the front door. Fuck. That was stressful.
And uh, I only got hit once. That's actually not too bad. Uh, I do have a lot of infection, though. So let's actually go ahead and take one of the weaker antibiotics. Yeah. That's a about to what it was before. My health's not doing too bad. Okay. I hope that was worth it. Unbelievable. You managed to come out of there alive, you sly devil. Let me take a closer look, will you? Show me your pupils. Stop trying to be funny. There's no one here who could check my condition better than me. Duties, duties. We're all bound by our duty. I was tasked with giving you this drug. Use it as intended. Just make sure that you can afford to do that. It takes a great toll on the body. Make sure you're neither wounded nor bleeding, yada yada. I know. Give it to me now. Wait, what'd you just give me? Oh, the Schmouter. A mix of randomly chosen drugs, mostly antibiotics. Those Schmouters were created by children to play a plague. The random recipe produced an unexpected result. The powder completely removes the effects of sand plague infection, but severely damages health. Okay, so when he said make sure you're not wounded or bleeding, I think they mean literally make sure you are at full health, otherwise you'll probably die. That is a very powerful thing indeed. I'm glad I did the test. That was worth it. Okay, where to now? Lara. Yeah, let's go inspect Lara's place. How am I doing on time? Got about 10 hours till the end of the day. Should, should, hopefully, be plenty of time. You're awfully glowy. My god, why are you so bright? really need the pills, though. I mean, I'm really tempted, but I seriously don't need them. I could probably sell them, though. Nah. Save my resources for health-giving things or food. Could always trade those bits and bobs to the guards for food, if I need it. Actually, I'm pretty sure selling the goods to buy food is more efficient than actually giving the goods, the barter goods, directly to the guards for food. Yeah, okay, I want this stuff. Um, oh, I don't have anything to trade. Dang. Those little girls are so picky. Hmm. I don't have anything worth one. So what about that? Yeah, okay, I guess I'll buy him and the revolver round. There we go. Didn't have anything worth one, so might as well. <laughs> Once again, I don't have anything worth one. Uh, same thing? Mm. I don't have the right combination to actually get that, do I? I've only got things worth three and things worth five. Yep, never gonna work. That's why they were so bright. I left. Oh fuck! I left my lamp on. Well, there goes all my kerosene. Who cares? It doesn't really matter. got nine of these razors. <laughs> All 
Alright, Lara. Are you doing okay, Lara? Hope old Gimski didn't bully you too much. What? Is it true you're planning to host an isolation ward? Do you realize what it entails? I didn't have a choice. I didn't have a choice. Why? I had to do it to protect the privacy of certain information, the good name of a certain person, and most likely the life of another depend on it. Surely that's reason enough. Forgive me, it's uncomfortable for me to talk about it. Tell me. No, enough questions, please. I've already told you more than I should have. Ah, damn it. I guess I pushed too hard. Fine. Have it your way. It's tough, but if that's what has to be done, then that's fine. I'll make do. There won't be too many patients, even fewer of them strangers. But we're out of water. We need to arrange for it to be delivered. Vlad the Younger can help with that. He knows the local water supply chain like the back of his hand. That means no isolation ward in this house, not unless we figure this out. Water is essential for maintaining the proper sanitary conditions. Well, it's not running anymore. I don't know why. The pipes are empty. They produced rusty, clotted liquid of reddish color for a while. But then it was gone too. Who can sort this out? Perhaps Vlad the Younger could be of help. He's been making himself busy with water pipes, wells, and the likes for years. I think it's personal. He treats water as if it was liquid gold, and procures it just as eagerly. Okay. And hear this. If the old Gimsky couriers come knocking on your door, slam that door in their faces. There will be no isolation ward here as long as there's no water. That's an order. Poor Lara. Lara doesn't look well. She's pale and disheveled. Poor child, she's so tired. Wait, did she say Lara there again? Like, before I thought she said Lara and she's talking in the third person about herself, but now I think she might have said Clara. Is there even a Clara? I don't know if there is a Clara. I don't remember. I really do need to visit the canes. Let's actually do that now. I want to know what exactly they want me to do. Because I don't want to just laser focus on this one main quest here only to find out there's a bunch of other stuff I need to do. I want to I want to get a good picture of the scope of what I need to do for today so I know how much time I have, roughly. So let's go speak with the canes before I go to Vlad the Younger. Should I call him Vlad the Light? Since the father called himself Vlad the Heavy? Oh, I've actually got 16 rounds of ammunition. Not bad. I'm just thinking of the fact that I probably personally have so many bottles of water on me that I can single-handedly supply all the water needs of the isolation ward. I've got like 50 plus bottles, it's insane. Alright, what did you want to talk to me about? Yes? A new phenomenon manifested itself today. It might be of interest to you, as it admittedly is to me. We may have stumbled upon a mystery whose solution may have far-reaching consequences. This concerns the Skinner's District. 
Hmm. Are you going to explain the presence of house ninjas? Tell me. This is of special interest to me because of the ongoing search for buildings that could serve as sanitary wards. Indeed, you're reading my thoughts. The Skinners have died out. Supposedly, it has become entirely free of infection. The streets, the walls, the various objects, and even the corpses. Everything is clean. People can safely touch bodies that only recently were a very strong source of infection. Yes, that does seem to fit with the discovery I made yesterday. If these rumors are true, we'll start making the abandoned homes ready for their new tenants. I can foresee us soon needing to find room for refugees from other infected districts. We'll give them provisional lodging at the vacant houses. I'm sure you understand that in order to make such a risky decision, I must be absolutely certain. What can I do to help? Take a look around the Skinners. Check inside the houses. <laughs> I have. There's ninjas. If they truly are clean, find something that could prove it. And of course, you may use any abandoned property as you see fit. Better you get it than the looters. I don't know if they're looters, they look like ninjas. And what can I possibly find that would prove that every single house is truly clean? I mean... Like, I'm probably not going to find infected stuff, but the absence of evidence is not evidence of the absence, if that makes any sense. Um, I'll be back with a report. Sure. Anything more to talk about? That does it. I'm going to break soon. It is far easier to be wise for others than to be so for oneself. I truly don't know what I'm going to find in any of those homes that could possibly truly and completely prove that they're free of infection, but I'll try. And as he said, I'm welcome to any property I find within. So I might find some good stuff, but I'm going to have to shoot a lot of looters. But I have a lot of ammo, don't I? So it should be fine. Now it's time to go to Vlad the Younger. I'm feeling good about today. I feel like things are going well. I'm understanding what's happening. I feel like I have some control of the situation. And like I'm managing my time pretty well. I'm feeling good about this. I'm feeling hopeful. You know what? Screw it. I'll just take the, the buckshot and the pistol rounds. I'll just sell the buckshot or something. Or maybe at some point I'll find a shotgun. All of the Meridorm, thank you. That man was very confused. Early signs of the infection. revolver ammo. Any uh, new dialogue for you? That startling was wrong with you. What? Want to know what will happen to the Ripper? And what will happen? He will heal the god, and then the grief for the loss will break him. That's because a very pretty lady will fall in love with him shortly, and right now he's crafting the tool for her execution. What? Why do I feel like the kid is talking about me or something? W what execution? He has no choice. He wants to help everyone. He's actually not a ripper. He's a harus haruspex. Harus haruspex? I, I don't remember how to say that exactly. He's a lot like you. Honest and... 
Hon <laughs> honest and kid? I think that's supposed to be kind. Honest and kind. Maybe he's your brother? I'm not kind, kid. Nah, I'm kinda kind. Sorta. Well, at least they weren't talking about me. They're talking about one of the other playable characters. A tourniquet. Eh, sure. So many kids to trade with. Give me your medicines. Give me all the medicines. Hmm. Do I want the beta tablets? I don't know if I do want the beta tablets. They might be kind of buggy. I don't want to be a first adopter, you know? Let's let other people work out the kinks with the tablets before I buy one. For a second, I thought that looked like a, a bag has been set next to the fire, but that's just the end of a log, isn't it? Yeah. Hmm. I've tested the drugs. They're effective, more or less. Did you do it yourself? You were extremely reckless. The young lady has nearly died because of you. That's disheartening to hear. But they aren't children, wouldn't you agree? In times like these, everyone contributes in the way they can. They must have known what they're doing when they offered their help. It really doesn't seem so. Ooh. 3,000 and a lens, thank you. I've maxed out my something meter. Cool. Now I can detect all the plagues. How can one avoid being infected? How come there's no water in the town? The town's water supplies have been sabotaged and ruined. Uh, to be more precise, we've lost the purifying system on the water intake that supplies water from the Gorkon to people's homes. How did that happen? The local blockheads, egged on by some overly active taskmaster, destroyed the water supply to prevent infected water from getting into the town. Can you see it now? I'm telling you, the crowd is rough. What started the rumor that the infection is waterborne? Simple minds need no explanations. They need someone to cry wolf. And there you have it. Hysteria is the best justification for believing in any madness. Very well. Other than residential property, what other options are there? If I were you, I'd seize the cathedral and the theater as soon as possible. They have access to spring water. Although, with dangerous zealots popping up, the town's springs are to be feared for as well. Who knows what those idiots will think up next? Are you planning to find them, by the way? The people that sabotage the water supply? Of course. They're very likely to be hiding in the same dens as the runaway rebels. Which does, by the way, give you food for thought. But never mind that. In any case, it would make sense to speak with... Aspity? I don't think I'm saying the name right. It would be rather disappointing to die of thirst while everyone is busy dying of the sand plague. <laughs> yes, disappointing. 
<laughs> oh, that dry sense of humor. I don't really follow him, follow his line of thought here, though. Um, the people that ruin the water supply are likely to be hiding in the same dens as the runaway rebels. Which gives you food for thought. What? What is he thinking? What does he mean? What would be the connection between the rebels? Who, who even are the rebels? Is he talking about the butchers? Let's do our best to make sure nobody dies of thirst. In order to start arranging water deliveries and post guards at the... Sugkudug... <laughs> Sugkudug Spring? <laughs> I don't think I'm saying that right either. Uh, it won't be enough for the whole town, but it's better than nothing. You should hurry up and seize the springs of the stone yard and spin a yarn square. Uh, that is, the cathedrals and the theater's springs. Let's do it then. I need to inform Olgimski about the sabotage. It brings all his efforts to naught. Okay, let's just make sure I need to do what I think I need to do. Jesus Christ, I've got so many things. Um, okay, well, at least the testing drugs quest is done. Yeah, these medic uh, medicaments are to be taken in volumes that could be... that could hardly be considered safe for one's health. Further to this, their effect is only temporary. The protection granted by immune system stimulants is insubstantial at best, whereas the antibiotics can slow the development of the disease and may, in some cases, destroy the infection altogether. So at least that I've done. Bad grief, I have not done anything with that. The blockheaded district, or blockaded district. Victor said that my word would suffice. Still, I think he would appreciate if I provided some evidence of how thorough the inspection was. I believe that the dead looter's belongings will serve this purpose just fine. Oh, the dead looter's belongings. So that's what I need. I need to actually kill the, the ninjas. Okay, so I need to speak to Bad Grief. I need to kill the house ninjas and take their property as proof. And... I also need to speak with Olgimski about the sabotage and see if we can see if we can seize the cathedral and the town theater since they have springs. And I need to go talk to her over here too. So I've got a hell of a lot of things to do. My god. But uh, I'm going to save them for the next episode. So I hope you've enjoyed so far and I'll be back soon.